Hey, welcome back to another Tech Tips video. Today we're going to show you how to factory reset the Studio USB. Uh, so this one here, the uh, reset button is on the bottom of the unit. So you're going to want to go ahead and turn that right upside down. And I'll turn it around so you can get a look at it here. And so you'll see that on the bottom of the unit, it can be a little bit tricky to get in here. But there's a, a Bluetooth button and then just to the right of that when it's upside down is the factory reset button. And I'll just tilt that up a little bit towards the camera so you can see. And so you'll see that that's this little pinhole right here. And so you're going to need a paper clip to do this. So in order to factory reset this unit, you want to start with the power disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the power cable from the other side. So you want to go ahead and slide in your uh, trusty paper clip till you feel a little click on that factory reset button. And this can be tricky because of the, uh, the mount here. All right, so I've got it in. I felt the click and I'm now going to apply the power. So now I'm going to keep holding that and you'll see that the white light's going to come on and I'm going to keep holding this until that light turns yellow. Once I see that yellow light, now it's in factory reset mode and I can go ahead and release that paper clip and it'll go ahead and go through the full factory reset and it'll give a little chime once it's fully reset and ready to go. So while that's resetting, I'll just flip it back around and we'll just listen for that. Okay, and so now you can see we've had that chime. We now that the unit is now fully factory reset and you can begin setting it up like a brand new unit out of the box. Okay, so we've shown you how to factory reset the Studio USB using the pinhole method on the bottom of the unit. There is a second way you can factory reset your unit if you know the password. If you don't know the password for the Studio USB, then you'll have to use the pinhole method to reset it. So with the password, I can go ahead and open the PolyLens app and I'm going to go to the admin section and you'll see there's an option here to log in with the device password. And I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And once I log in, I've got some advanced settings and some of those advanced settings are going to be here. And so you can see that I can actually reboot the device from this interface, or I can go ahead and select to restore the defaults, which will take it back to the factory default settings. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and verify. And so now the unit will go through its factory reset process and we should see the lights go through its normal boot up sequence as it factory resets. And that's how you factory reset the Studio USB using the PolyLens app. Okay, so we've got the chime so that we know that the unit's been factory reset and it's back online and we can see from the PolyLens app that it is now connected again and is back online. And that's how the, uh, the two methods of factory resetting the Studio USB via the pinhole or via the PolyLens app. If you'd like to see how to set up the unit, be sure to watch for our first time setup of the PolyStudio USB as well.